Hello Space Engineers, we are here today with another of the best Space Engineer scripts that we're going to show you. And uh, we've got a ship here that's taking off and, uh, and running a couple of errands on a, on a fairly new base here. And uh, what we see in the challenge of is it's sucking more battery than we're actually able to charge. So even though we've got a, a nuclear reactor here, and we've got some uh, uranium in there. It's just not charging enough. You can see it's green, so it's it's outputting as much as it can, and we just don't have uh, enough uranium to build another one. So uh, the batteries kind of they just go dead, and then the ship, uh, you know, it's it's taking all of that power from the nuclear reactor, and the batteries are dead, and then they'll charge up just a little bit. And just enough to kind of keep it going and that's really about it but it's it's taking a lot longer for the ship to charge than we'd like it to obviously because it's the batteries aren't quite charged up enough and they're not really given that punch in there so what we need to do is we're going to add on some solar panels and that's pretty simple everybody knows how to add on solar panels and this is about the scripts well Let's talk about how that's going to work. I'm just going to uh, run out here real quick and pop these in out, out over this this hole. And you can see our other base over here is real close. And I'm running some tests and doing some different things. So um, that's nice, but I, I really want to get some more solar panels out here. So let's see. If there's the sun. We can, we can see how that kind of runs along there. And I want to try something different too. I typically build a little T with the, as you can see from the other base, let me turn that off. You can see from the other base, I build it straight up and then build a T left and right. And I'm going to try that to be different over here. And so I want to extend that out over this area just a little bit more. And then we're going to put on the, uh, that script, uh, put on some pops of solar panels on there, and then put that script on there and show you how that works. So I'm going to fast forward here just a little bit until I get this um, this aligned just a little bit more. And, um, well, maybe that's enough. That should be enough. Let's just go ahead and, and just stay with it here. Uh, I need Now I need a, uh, a piston. I'm sorry, a rotor. <laughs> there's, um, there's my solar panels. There's... Do, do, do. I need a rotor and blocks and some solar panels, and that's all we really need. And that's on 6.4. And what you do is you just put a rotor out here and just make a, a T, basically. So you, you, you put this rotor out here, and then you put another block on top of it. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I'm having a little bit of a <coughs> challenge with that today. Uh, six four. So we want to put one. I'm going to put it on this way and make this, make it easy for the sun to get it. You can do it any direction, but as long as you can move them. And then you put one on each side. So you make a little T. See how that works? You just put a little. Uh, you put one for the towards your base, and then one on each other side. And then you build um, just what I call sticks. And you just bring them down here and uh, put it, let's see if we can do eight. Looks like we can do eight, yeah. And then we'll put eight on the other side. That's going to be a lot of solar panels that we're going to put on this little little outpost, basically, is all it is. is a, uh, an outpost for recharging or whatever. But this will uh, work real well. We'll have lots of good solar panels on it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we'll do eight there, and then we come back here. We've got our solar panels again, and now we want to just put those on. I usually try to put them on from here so I remember how many there are, and I like to put them on the flat side there. Now, that we've got some modified solar panels that actually have better output than these standard ones, and uh, they're, they're really good. But I, I'm showing you these because this is a, a totally what they call a vanilla build. And now we'll have, we'll put these around this way. And 
go up here and we can get with eight you get solar panels are two blocks wide so with eight you get four and with two of those sticks you get 16 so that's going to be a lot of a lot of power and you know probably we don't even need to turn it or control it or do anything but I wanted to show you the script that's what this uh, this whole one is about there we go and let's put those four here and then let's go up here and put our other last four on the inside of this go and we'll put our four here <clears throat> okay so now we've got our 16 solar panels that's a lot of solar panels and that's going to start charging our batteries a lot better and we probably see some pretty good results pretty fast but what we want to do is uh, make that a little bit more interesting and so what I'm, I'll do here is I'll put this programming block uh, where it's easy to see. And we'll just put it here, and that way we can also watch what's going on. Let's do it there. And then well, what have I... Oh, sometimes these controls are just so crazy all right there we go all right so now we can we can come in here and we'll just hit the K and this is going to uh, be Izzy solar and so um, I'll come back and do that in just a second we browse the scripts we look for solar Izzy solar alignment that's what it's called <clears throat> And you want to uh, subscribe to that and it, it really is a great little script you don't really have to do anything except copy this here that says solar rotors and uh, you can change that to something else if you want to I usually call them solar rotors this will run on a ship too and it'll turn your ship in space while you're not there uh, you know it'll turn it and charge your batteries and stuff like that so uh, everything else in here I leave default especially for a little outpost right there don't need anything else but you want to read through that there's some really cool stuff that you can do with this uh, you can uh, use reactors and hydrogen engines fallback and everything else so uh, in this case you can enable your reactor we have one as a safety fallback if not enough power is available then the those will kick in so it'll save my uranium which will be real good because that burns out and you know we don't have a whole lot right now on this uh, on this server so we're we have to kind of uh, ask the the space pirates to come visit us once in a while and uh, you know when they do they politely leave us some when we destroy their ships so that's kind of nice um, use reactor fallback we're gonna say I'm gonna go ahead and say that's true because I do want to uh, to use the reactor so I do want to change that in this case and the activation order is hydrogen well I don't have a hydrogen engine and activate on low battery true and turn off at 10 percent and uh, turn off turn on at 10 percent turn off at 15 percent so that'll kick on those kick on the reactor and it'll just help a lot so that that's fine and again you want to read through all the rest of this uh, if you want some LCD panels so on and so forth I typically put LCD panels on there. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to keep this a quick little video of how to get this first set up, and then you'll want to read this. If you have any questions, you can go to Izzy's uh, Discord channel or on his script and ask the questions, or come to my Discord channel and ask questions. I mean, there's a lot of people that'll help you work with this. So, um, just it's a great little, great little thing. Let's talk about more of what it does than how to set it up. So. Uh, that's now on there and it says there's no solar panels or oxygen farms found how are we going to see the sun well because <laughs> we haven't told it where they are yet so 
I typically put in here so I can know what the programming block is. I put it ISA, and I know that Izzy's, it's Izzy's solar alignment. Even though it doesn't require it in this case, I like to put it there. As you can see, I've got on this one, and I usually take those numbers off of there. Um, this one's got SAM on it, and now this one's got ISA on it. And now it's easy to know if I wanted to change them or do anything, I can know what I'm doing with that. So um, we come in here, and now we, we select this rotor and this rotor and this rotor, and we want to call it that block group that's called solar rotors, and we hit save. And now if we look at ISA, it's saying, oh, look at that, changing the, the solar array. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any sun right now, but, um, well, I'm going to, I think I'm going to cheat just a little bit. I don't typically like to do that, but um, I don't think there's any anybody playing in here that we have to worry too much about. Uh, I'm going to come in here and change the time so we can watch the solar array adjust. I'm going to move it up to morning here. Whoops. And there we go. You can see it adjusting. And that's pretty fast and now it's picking up the maximum amount from all of the solar panels and that's that script it just took over and off it goes and it will adjust them throughout the day and and as the sun will move and and uh, you saw it picked up real quick they're not pointing exactly there they're starting to turn and they're pointing more directly towards the sun and as the sun moves it realigns and it will adjust all of those panels to make the maximum use of the power that you can get in there. And um, yeah, I mean, this is probably not the greatest place. I think I probably put them in here. They may hit. And if they do, they're liable to break because those rotors will put a lot of power towards it. And yeah, they might not. Yeah, they might. I don't know. Well, I did that just for fun, just to see. But um, I mean, you'll, you'll obviously want to put them in a good spot. That's why I typically put them up in the air like that one over there. But I wanted to try something a little bit different. I know it's the same design, basically. It's the little T. And uh, there's other designs that you can find and, and do. Um, this is just the one I've always done. It's fast. It's easy. And obviously, it works extremely well. Looks like I missed by, by millimeters over here. That's wonderful. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, yeah, wow, that's really, really close. But it's okay. It still works. And the alignment script is, uh, is putting its uh, thing, doing its thing that it likes to do. And uh, these batteries should start getting a much better charge. Let's just take a quick look at how much they're getting in here now. Um, it's getting 1.75 megawatts by uh, if we turned off the solar panels. See, they're they're putting out 199 percent, 100 percent. So they're putting out all they can, and uh, they're. That's why I like this script. Now, this is saying this one is at 85 percent. That's probably that one that's got that little bit of shadow down in the bottom. I could have placed that a little bit better and and made that happen. But you'll see throughout the day, these are a constant 100%. If you just put your solar panels on the side over here, if I just would plaster one on here, oh, it might get 100% for the moment. But then when the sun moves, it's not going to get that. So that's why you want these that will move all the time. And they'll be at 100% throughout the day. And this will continue to turn and rotate and do all the stuff as the sun will move. Then you'll see it. Uh, adjusting all the time and you'll you'll get a lot more power out of this thing and that's it that's really all you've got to do it's one of the best scripts out there that's why it's on my best scripts list and that's why we've done a video today on izzy solar alignment and uh, it's just so easy to work with that i don't know it's just you just stick out the solar panels you put these couple of rotors out there you plop on a, a programming block and put the script in and off you're running and i i uh, re recommend putting this on every base even if it's a little outpost just like this one 
If you've liked this video, please hit the, click the like button, subscribe, you'll see more videos, and if you hit that bell every time we put a new one, it'll come and tell you about it. So uh, let us know in the comments if you like this, you know, don't like it, you want to see more, got any questions, get on my Discord channel. We'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.